Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and testing a fingerprint sensor. And the fingerprint sensor is the FPM10A and I ordered them from AliExpress. And here on AliExpress I search for FPM10A fingerprint and find this modules. And as you see they are not very expensive and you can order them from the seller you trust. And this is how I wire up the fingerprint sensor. This sensor have a serial interface with a receive and transmit line and we have also power up the modules. So I connect the ground line the 3.3 volt rail to the VCC and also I use the second serial interface from the ESP32 and we connect the receive line to GPIO pin 17 and the transmit line to GPIO pin 16. And as a software for the Arduino environment I use this library from Brian Iike when I spell this correct from Nigeria and this support the FPM module optical fingerprint sensor as you see. And we can also use the C++ library and also we we can use the examples that's provided with this. And today I just use the enroll example to store some fingerprints inside the sensor and the fingerprint software to read out and test the readed fingerprint. And I show you just the slight changes I've made. I skip the software serial because we use the hardware serial and only use the FPM library. And as you see the software serial is not used instead we use the hardware serial serial port number two so we can use the GPIO pins 16 and 17 to wire up the module and then we also have to initialize the serial interface for the ESP32 and the second one for the fingerprint sensor and we have to use the serial 2 object to initialize the fingerprint sensor and then nearly everything is the same. I just print out here the number of stored fingerprints inside the module and also empty the database. But if you don't want to use empty the database just skip this part. And then the example is nearly the same as provided in the library. So we just send a letter then we place the fingerprint that we want to store and just confirm that we want to store it and that's it. So let's upload the example to our ESP32 and start the serial monitor and press the reset button so we can see everything from the start. We just insert one letter and then we put on a finger, remove the finger and place the same fingerprint again and as we see the fingerprint image is stored inside the module. And then we can repeat this process with up to 300 fingerprints that are stored inside the sensor module. And this is the second example we have also used instead of the software serial, the hardware serial for the ESP32. Initialize the both serial interface and so on. And then we use the example. So let's upload this example. And sure, I just slightly updated the software code so it fits for the ESP32. There is just some small changes like the return value or so. So not not very big changes. So let's start the serial monitor, press the reset button so we can see we are waiting for a fingerprint and I take the fingerprint and as we see we have a match inside the internal database of the... Sometimes it don't fit but as you see with a confidence of 64, maybe we get a better picture. 80, 85, 53, so 61. So it depends sometimes. And that's that. And here also a view at my bench setup. 
This is the ESP32 connected to one of the fingerprint sensors and I can show you another fingerprint sensor as a close up. And we see that on the back side we have some circuitry and a microprocessor that stores the fingerprints. And this is on the side we have the connector with the four wires that goes to the ESP32 and two wires are not connected. And as you see, the wires goes to the ESP32. And just for fun and from some testing, I printed out some fingerprints I found on a Google search. So just, just joking around with some printed fingerprints and not use my own fingerprints inside the sensor. But this is just for testing and how the sensor react on artificial fingerprints. And if you use some PCB and some wood glue, you know what I mean. So I just testing different fingerprints on my bench and then that's enough for today. So thanks for watching and I hope you find this useful and interesting and hopefully also learn something. And if so, just use the thumbs up button to push my videos a little bit on the top of the search for the ESP32. And maybe if you're not already subscribed to my channel, just subscribe and also use the bell button to get informed for new videos. So thanks for watching. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.